and when it comes down to the running side of your custom built beast with all the latest CPUs, GPUs and more, one thing you are quickly going to learn about is cooling your machine. Most stock coolers for your CPU and systems do an okay job of keeping it to temp whilst running everyday tasks, but throw a few games into the equation and all of a sudden you'll see your core temp rising and performance starts to take a hit. This is where cooling comes into it and it quickly becomes just as important as the main hardware, if not in fact more important. You could opt for more fans to provide plenty of airflow in your case to keep the system cool, or you could go for the best choice and cool your machine via liquid cooling. Liquid cooling offers better and more efficient cooling of the parts of your PC that matter. And on top of that, it looks pretty damn cool too with the assistance of LED lighting. So, we're going to take a look at a setup we've seen before, and that is of Paul O'Hara's. We recently featured Paul's setup on MyTech. Paul recently decided he wasn't content with the H100i GTX he had installed and wanted more performance. He went straight to the premium choice of liquid cooling and that is a company known only as EK. EK offer liquid cooling for a whole range of hardware and even offer custom kits. Paul headed over to their website and chose a complete kit, the EK Kit X240, which you can see here. The website also shows a whole range of products that are easy to navigate through to find everything that you need and if you're unsure of which product is right for you, they even have a configurator page in which you can enter your GPU or CPU information and EK will do the work for you and match up the best options for you. Follow Paul now as he unboxes the EK Kit X240 shortly. Be sure to check back tomorrow for part 2 and the following day for a running review of a product. Now over to Paul. This is my review of the EK Extreme 240mm Walkering Kit. Now I wanted a, um, a 350mm but for loving the money I couldn't find one anyway. So this should cool my uh, 9590 uh, nicely until I uh, until I expand. Right, see what we've got. Got the uh, UK Supremacy Evo bottle block here. The UK Red X3 150. The uh, bag of nickel plated compression fittings. Plenty of them in there. Some clear tubing. Enough clear tubing there. It seems. Flexible. What else we got in here? We got a band splitter, a uh, jumper to jump your uh, power supply unit so you can do a leak test because obviously you don't want to have your main components turned on whilst you're doing a leak test because, well, get messy. <laughs> mm. LED with a fan header on it. You can light up your water block of your pump. What else is in here? This is the bracket for the pump. Pump is it? Pump. Yeah. Yeah. Pump or your res? I don't know. We'll figure that out there. Like the screws. An Allen key. So you will clear concentrate now this you dilute with your purified water but I probably won't be using that because I've got some mayhem's fluid to go in my I'll just pack this well. We've got one bar there, 120 mil fan. To the uh, Vada, 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 how you say it? Shut 
Oh, that you are. That's the uh, EK DDC 3.2 PWM Elite Kit version of the pump. Right there. That's just the massive Allen key. Can't go with that for. And the radiator. XE240. Well, we might as well start with that. I've got to do that. And obviously, the uh, book of instructions. It's very, I mean, very detailed. Even for a beginner. I mean, it's been 10 years since I last walked through the computer. But hopefully I should be here uh, getting sent through it, but I will probably be, I will probably read the instructions because, well, that's just me. Right, let's uh, have a look at this. These boxes feel really quality. I mean, I mean, I know people might be saying, oh, it's just a box, but no, we like to have nice boxes. Maybe it's just me. Look at this. See what's in here. The, we've got the another massive Allen key in there. So I'm assuming that's for the uh, part blockers. The parts that you're not using. There's only two in there. There's tiny one in there. Three Allen keys in there. Bag of screws. Look at this, this is nice. That, you see it on there, how thick that is. That is a thing of beauty, you know, That is very nice. Very the uh, Marie K logo over there. Yeah, that's nice. That I mean, just feels quality. It doesn't feel cheap and nasty like it's going to snap it any second like some do. Not back in there. Get some tech and look at the pump. Love these boxes. These are brilliant. Instructions. Another bag of uh, screws. Let's put that bag back in the radiator yeah, so I know where that's coming from. Now this. Now this is a kit edition, apparently it's, so I've heard, it's modified, so I don't know how it's modified, right? I know it's got the heat sink on the bottom there, keep it nice and cool, it's got rubber feet on it, it's got the visual click top there, so, put the LEDs in there, yeah, that looks like It'll fit nicely in your, your case. Yeah, that one in there. You've only got one input and output. I about that really. It's really nice. Like I say again, it doesn't feel tacky. It feels well built but feels flimsy. The only thing I would like is if it had braided cables. That would just we should have nicely, but I'm 
sure I'll be able to stash them somewhere with an install in it. So that's it for part one of the unboxing of the EK kit X240. Check back tomorrow for a second part of this unboxing video and then again the next day to watch the review of the running product. I hope you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, if you li like the video please press the thumbs up and also if you want to check out Paula Harrow for yourself, the link for his Facebook page is down below in the comments. Thank you and for now, goodbye.